What's going on guys, BK here from PC Productions and happy freaking holidays, hope you're all doing well. It's time for the ultimate comparison of YouTube mics 2015, so let's go check it out. Today we have competing two USB powered studio microphones, the Rode NT-USB and the infamous Blue Yeti from Blue Microphones. We are going to take a look at a few things, first of which is price and availability, then about their designs, then we talk about the features and accessories these microphones include, and last but not least, audio quality comparison. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's jump straight in. So, to kick off this we are having the Rode NT-USB retailing for 170 bucks off Amazon, and I think that's a relatively affordable price of what it's capable of. Then the Blue Yeti is retailing right now with an insane 102 bucks. I'll say that again, 102 bucks off Amazon. That's an amazing value right there. It's no longer 150 bucks, so this is a great price. Naturally, I will leave all best availability and pricing down in the description, so make sure you check them out. Well then, let's talk a while about these mics designs. Both of these are made of solid aircraft aluminum and have not plastic whatsoever in their build which is super awesome. The Rode NT-USB has a matte black finish and has a really small form factor which makes it easy to carry around. The Rode has a sleek, minimalistic design compared to the Yeti which got an all silver aluminum build with a lot of chrome lining like the net surrounding the mic capsule. Also the rounded design is really eye catching and looks good on almost any surface. I think I have to get the best design title to the Yeti for its smooth, rounded and creative design. Now let's talk about some of the features these mics have and what kind of accessories you get included with them. The Rode is using a mini USB cable to connect the mic to a USB compatible device. It's also packing a 3.5mm headphone jack for connecting your headphones to monitor your latency-free recordings. It's also packing a dial for the headphone volume so you can decide how much audio feedback you're getting from your active recordings. Then it got a mix dial. It can be a touch weird, but basically it's a knob controlling how much you are hearing from the computer also when you're monitoring. So if you're recording, for example, vocals to a track on your computer, then you can with the knob decide how much of the track you're hearing simultaneously when you're singing. Really useful feature. It's though a small shame that the Rode NT-USB doesn't have a gain dial on it. Of course you can control the gain in the computer afterwards, but the extra feature wouldn't have hurt. The Rode got a nice solid metal pop filter included that's designed for the mic and makes it look super stealth and super cool. A small drawback is that the Rode comes with a pretty flimsy plastic stand and is workable on flat surfaces but can't support that much weight and angles, but a mic stand is my warmest recommendation. Now once we're talking about mic stands, the Rode NT-USB has the standard mic stand adapter, so it fits with all mic stand there is, so you don't need to worry about what mic stand to get, because this microphone fits them all. Then you get an insane 5 meter long USB cable to power and connect your microphone. This means you can take your microphone really far away from your computer but still get amazing recordings. The Yeti has a few additional features that the Rode doesn't have. Firstly, the Yeti also has a headphone input and a volume knob for the headphones. There's no mix knob though, but instead it has a gain knob in the back which is a super welcome feature. Alongside a 4 mode polar pattern knob, making the Yeti one hell of a versatile mic for its price. The Yeti is included with a really solid all aluminum stand and overall built like a tank. One feature I like really much with the Yeti is that it packs with a really useful mute button, which you can just click and enable and disable anytime during active recording. The Yeti does also have the standard mic stand screw so you can get it on any mic stand alongside with the Rode. No one really talks about these kind of connections and a lot of people question about it all the time, like is this mic compatible with this kind of mic stand or something like that, so here you go, no no. Unfortunately, the Yeti in the difference from Rode doesn't include a pop filter, 
and it's quite a shame because then the mic doesn't have any kind of protection, you know. So it's really recommended to buy a pop filter to isolate the mic for any kind of this popping airburst sound your lips make. Alright, now we do know all the fanciness about these two suckers. So why not put them into the real test? How do they actually sound? Because that's why you are here, right? So let's get it on. So guys, here's the Rode NT-USB studio microphone from a close range, just attached to my mouth. So this is how it sounds like. So this is the Blue Yeti studio microphone, uh, from a close-up range, with the pop filter on, as you can probably see. So right now I'm trying out the Rode NT-USB studio microphone from a middle range kind of vocal area so this is how it sounds like and it's approximately a half a meter which is something like a one and a half foot from my mouth so this is how it sounds like so right here we have in the blue yeti microphone uh, approximately a half a meter which is something around one and a half foot from my mouth so and with the pop filter on like it doesn't have to be there but it's still there so this is how it sounds Alright, now I'm trying out the Rode NT-USB microphone for my distant vocal recording area. So this is how it sounds like, and it's approximately 1 meter, which is something like 3.5 foot to 3 foot from my mouth. And this is how it sounds like. Alright, so now I'm testing out the Yeti Blue microphone from around 1 meter, so which is something around 3.5 to 3 foot from my mouth. And this is how it sounds like. Both of these microphones are performing really alike. There's not a huge difference, but there's one small though. The Rode seems to have a bit more dynamic, a uh, fuller so to say sound, which I find to work really well with podcasts and voiceovers. The Yeti on the other hand is just a small tiny touch less sharp than the Rode, but instead it got a bit warmer sound, which works super good with instruments and vocals. The Yeti do perform really well in podcasts and voiceovers too, don't get me wrong. The road is just a bit more like, you know, oh yeah, if you know what I mean. Hmm, I guess it's conclusion time then. I think both of these mics are just stunning and has some really good value to them. But if you're searching for a mic that's easy to use, it's plug and play, got some amazing dynamic sound for podcasts and voiceovers, I'd say you go for the Rode NT-USB Studio microphone. If you're one of those with a budget in mind and like versatility of being able to record in every situation and like the elegant looks, the Blue Yeti could be your next companion. But in the end, you be the judge. Which do you think is the one getting the title of the best YouTube mic 2015? Let me know in the comment section below that like button. And hey, are you interested of seeing dedicated, in-depth reviews of these microphones? Then hit that like button below this video right now and I'll send them coming. Thanks for watching guys and I want to give a huge shout out to my man over at SJ Productions, who was kind enough to let me use his Blue Yeti against my weapon of choice, the Rode NT-USB. So without that awesome guy, this video wouldn't have been possible in any way. 
And I suggest you you go to check out his channel. There's gaming and unboxings of all kind of weird stuff. You really never get bored with him. So show some Christmas love and head over to his channel. Check the description. Huge thanks to the past year guys, subscribe if you haven't already and I want to wish you a Merry Christmas wherever you are and I will see you in the year to come. Happy Holidays, VK signing out, peace.